Discover China. It was an ordinary autumn day in 17th century Chongqing. However, it was an extraordinary day at the North Mountain in Danzhou County. A monk wandering amidst the Danzu rock carvings was about to uncover a thousand years old mystery. The Dazu Rock Carvings Project began in 892 AD. It weathered two dynasties and lasted for more than 250 years. There are thousands of Buddhist sculptures and epigraphs in the Danzu Mountains. These meticulously carved sculptures, situated on the steep hillside of Dazu County, draw thousands of visitors each year. One of the most unique statues is a sculpture of the Thousand Hands Guan Yin. This well-preserved sculpture has not only high artistic values, but also a mystery that has lasted for centuries. The sculpture has numerous arms, with each hand gesturing differently. Each has an eye carved into its palm. Yin is one of the four great bodhisattvas. The legend of Guan Yin, also known as the Buddhist goddess of mercy, tell of her power and compassion. People who suffered hardships or disasters prayed to her. Upon hearing their prayers, Guan Yin would immediately come to their aid. In all the legends surrounding her, she is revered as almighty. In the 17th century AD, a monk came to Danzu. After bowing to the sculptures, he began attaching gold foil to Guan Yin's arms. This was unheard of. People became curious about the monk's odd behavior. represented in numerous various sculptures in Danzu. The 1,000 hands Guan Yin is only one among them.
With a graceful and saintly appearance, she holds a small vase in a willow branch. Legend says the water from the vase can purify people's hearts. Guan Yin used the willow branch to sprinkle water, washing away foul thoughts and deeds. Thanks to her magical powers and kind heart, Guan Yin enjoys many believers. Other Thousand Hands Guan Yin statues do not actually have 1,000 hands. Some will have six, others 42, simply to display volume. In ancient China, 1,000 was a big number and was used to describe things that could not be counted. A thousand hands was a symbol of almighty power. In many Buddhist rock carvings and grottos in China, statues of the Thousand Hands Guan Yin were mainly the six and 42-handed variants. However, in the Dazu rock carvings, the Thousand Hands Guan Yin has scores of arms, and each arm differs in shape and gesture. was sculpted in the 9th century during the Tang Dynasty. Up until the 17th century, the multiple arms remained a mystery. Many tried to count her arms, but they always seemed to get confused and lose count. Then, the monk came along. No one knew where this monk came from or what his name was. No historic accounts of him exist. He was as mysterious as the sculpture itself. What little history he left behind was the story of using gold foil to count Guan Yin's arms. Determined to resolve the question, the monk brought with him many gold foils. He began attaching them to the arms, one foil for each arm. He surmised that when his work was complete, he would simply count the remaining gold foils. The monk worked down to dust, stopping only when it became too dark to see. The monk went to sleep with all the hopes of solving the mystery.
The next morning, the monk woke up, only to discover the gold foils were gone. The monk was curious. He carefully examined his surroundings. Finding no footprints, the monk concluded that due to the mountain's steep terrain, it was impossible to climb to the top at night. Did the gold foil blow off in the night breeze? The monk climbed the mountain in autumn, a time when it is shrouded in humid mist. Overnight, the mist turned into dew, making the statue's surface far too slippery for gold foils to stay on. Having figured out the issue, the monk resumed his project in earnest. He collected thin bamboo stalks and assigned each with a gold foil. Then attached the foil to the statue, discarding the assigned bamboo. After several days, the monk's ambitious project was complete. The monk then counted the discarded bamboo stalks. According to his count, the Danzu Guanyin statue had 1,007 arms. There are no historical records to support the monk's inspiration. Whatever his original intentions were, his actions did reveal that the Thousand Hands Guanyin was worthy of its name. Curiosity arose as to the origin of this magnificent sculpture. century AD, during the Tang Dynasty, the country suffered great political instability. A man called Wei Junjing recruited and organized a local militia making substantial military contributions to the imperial court. He was promoted to assume control of the armies of Danzu, Anbing, Chongqing, and Hechuan. Wei Junjing felt that though his troops were quite strong, his territory was not yet safe. He 
was anxious to demonstrate his authority by stabilizing the political situation. To win the people's hearts and minds, Wei Junjing dared not kill his potential enemies. Seeing the potential in the rocks at Danzu, Wei decided to embark on this mammoth project in the hopes of gaining the support of the land's Buddhist majority. During these chaotic times, many people living in the north fled to the relatively stable west. Many skillful artisans were among them. With the artisan's arrival, the Danzu rock carvings project began. the Thousand Hands Guanyin is commonly known throughout China. Her sculptures are present at many famous Chinese Buddhist locations, such as the Dunhuang Mogao Grottoes. Legend has it that Guan Yin was a princess. She gave up one of her arms and one of her eyes to cure her ailing father. Buddha was deeply moved by her actions. He bestowed upon her 1,000 arms with 1,000 eyes so that she could see all the hardships on earth and save people from their suffering. Wei spent huge sums of money on this particular sculpture, knowing people would come to worship her and find spiritual comfort during those troubled times. At that time, the imperial court was weak and many people died in numerous wars. Others were starving and homeless. the merciful Guan Yin became a symbol of an almighty redeemer. By praying to her, people would forget their troubles and renew their hope. After solving the question of the Thousand Hands Guan Yin, the monk continued on his journey. For centuries, the sculpture and all of the rock carvings in Danzu remained hidden.
In April 1945, a group of historians and archaeologists came to this mountain. Flashlights, the surveyors found themselves gazing upon a wondrous mythological world. The Thousand Hands Guan Yin reclaimed its esteem throughout China. As time passes by, the mysteries are now long solved. The goddess of mercy gracefully stands amidst the astounding Danzu rock carvings. Today, many people marvel at its exquisite beauty. The Thousand Hands Guan Yin, with her lasting beauty and merciful heart, continues to shine for future generations.